In the final chapter of To Kill a Mockingbird, the legal details have been settled. Boo insists on seeing Jem one more time before leaving. He and Scout return to the room where Aunt Alexandra sits by Jem's side. Hesitantly, Boo reaches out and touches Jem's hair. With that, Boo asks Scout to take him home. At the front door, Scout instructs Boo to bend his arm and she slips her hand into the crook of it. Together they walk, like a lady and a gentleman, all the way to the Radley door. As Boo goes inside, Scout remarks that it was the last time she ever saw Boo Radley. When she turns and faces in the direction of her house, she sees the neighborhood in a way she's never viewed it before. The new vantage makes her realize that for years, Boo has had a ringside seat from which to observe everything. She realizes too, that from this vantage point, Boo Radley had watched her and Jem growing up, as if they were his children. Scout thinks once more about Atticus's advice about walking in another person's shoes. She returns home to find Atticus reading at Jem's bedside. Scout curls up beside him and falls asleep. Scout's walk with Boo to his house demonstrates how far she's come in the story. Showing Boo how to properly escort a woman offers him dignity. From his porch, she grows even more, coming to understand how things appeared from Boo's viewpoint. She realizes he had come to regard her and Jem as much more than just neighborhood kids. In this last chapter, Lee comes around one last time to the idea of empathy. Of all the topics presented in the novel, race, class, equality, morality, it's the care for others that abides.